evening. To the Honorable Premier Craig Kenanier and Leader of the Opposition, Members of Parliament, Distinguished Guests, George Gron Muller, President and CEO for the Phoenix Stores Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Brown and Company. As General Manager of Brown and Company, I am truly delighted to welcome you all here this evening for the Bermuda launch of Dwayne and Wayne Keynes' new memoir, Double Vision, A Journey to Success. Before I ask Dwayne and Wayne to speak, it is my pleasure to invite the Honorable Premier of Bermuda to make an introductory address. Thank you. Mr. Premier? Good evening, everyone. Uh, you know, when I was asked to come and say something here, uh, you know, when I thought about the Keynes boys, and we've known each other all our lives, basically, um, all I could remember is when I was a kid, those two troublesome boys. <laughs> I, I, I'm delighted that, uh, look at this here guys, uh, Bermuda has something to be really proud of and I see more people are still coming in. It reminds me of a, a Bible text and I know the two of them know it well uh, and it says train up a child in the way he should go and when he's old it won't leave him. Well some of us might have believed it left these guys for a couple of years uh, as we grew up with them uh, but I am extremely proud. Uh, that I can stand next to you to see the culmination of something like this here. Two fine, good-looking, young black males who are making something positive in Bermuda happen. And I can't say enough about what that means to everyone in Bermuda. You know, sometimes we forget uh, 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 as we look at some of the things that may be going on out there that uh, we see as troublesome, but you all have been, the two of you, have been a pillar to this community and to this island. And more importantly, I want to thank your parents. I want to thank your parents because with discipline and God, this is what can happen, double vision. Double vision can happen. So on behalf of the government, I just want to say thank you for the positive things that you guys are doing with the community, even in your own perspective areas, your private areas, and the positive things that you bring to, and the, the, the really uh, the example that you're setting for young people coming along. Again, I say thank you. I, I, I mean, this is a picture. I, I hope that the cameras get this here. This really means a lot to all of us here in this island to have you. And thank you for giving me an opportunity to have a prelude in the, uh, in, in the book. Um, I know it will be an inspiration to all of you, because these guys really do have a story, because what God can do is amazing. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. As somebody who actually speaks for a living, very rarely do I get nervous and very rarely am I as humbled as I am tonight. The, the, uh, the Premier said as much as I could say, first of all, I think without, with God, anything is possible. Wayne and I represent young men just like the young men we see every day in this country, young men that a lot of people have given up on. Today we just come by to say, don't give up on anyone. The young man that you see at any level could be the young man that tomorrow leads this country, the young man that can find a cure for cancer. So when you see us, don't see anybody special. As a matter of fact, we don't want you to see us special. We want you to see somebody and two individuals that through us, anything is possible. I also would like to thank my parents who bled into us. Yeah. I would like to thank my wife my children for their ever loving and their ever support. I also would like to thank my uncles, my aunts, my village, my church, but my brothers and sisters. Even though this book was about Wayne and I, we had a brother, most people don't know my sister because she was actually overseas for a number of years. So I'd just like to reintroduce her to her home country. But this, this was my surrogate mother when my mother was not around. She was the one that actually could beat us. <laughs> and, well, now you have to say discipline lightly. Yes, yes. But my brother Travis, he also was a part of, of the union. 
and, and the reason why I think that's in, uh, the reason why I think that's important is because they were just as a much a part of the story as possible. To all of our friends, our church family, our fraternity brothers, to our community, everyone who bled into us, all I can say, standing up here tonight, I stand for you. Looking out there, I see, think of the Jamaican, the West Indian community, I see Rick Richardson. I would like to thank you, Rick Richardson, publicly. You took a chance on me. I'm finished. But I, I didn't want to go get emotional, but 25 years ago, you took a chance on me, and I want to say thank you. Thank you everyone for coming out, to my wife and to my family, Dwayne said it all. I'm really trying not to break down crying. This is, this is a tremendous, um, this is tremendous. Uh, Dwayne and I really struggled when we wrote this book, not because of the story, but trying two different people uh, with two different thoughts, trying to write one book. So as you read the book, remember that it's actually two stories that emerge and they go off. So it's something that you have to remember while you're reading. It's gonna seem a little schizophrenic, but it actually, <laughs> You, you honestly have to remember that you're reading a book about two separate journeys. Thank you everybody for coming, um, my, to, to my entire family. Uh, guys, we're going to tonight, we're going to limit the book purchase to one per person, simply because um, uh, we have some, we have uh, to, we've had to ship the book in segments, and we, we buy the looks of things. We're going to have a few challenges tonight, but I just want you to be patient with us. We have another shipment that should land next week, but by the looks of things, we should be able to accommodate everybody. Thank you so much for believing in us. All right.